Warm welcome here from Germany to Japan. Um, well, that's a very valid question, of course. Uh, the rear seat airbag seems very obvious, but of course, if you consider who is sitting in the back, there can be many types of passengers, from the child in a child seat through an adolescent, uh, an adult, in all different kinds of positions. And so it's not so easy, and you can't just put a normal airbag in the rear seat and that's it. You have to take that into account. Um, we have evidence that the airbag we have put in there now uh, can uh, reduce the load on these passengers in the back up to 30%, especially in the head and the neck area. So that's a very, very dramatic step and a big, big uh, step forward in passive safety. The rear airbag is a very unique airbag. It's something we don't have in the car. Usually, as you know, we have uh, we inflate it with, uh, well, uh, easily spoken with, a, with an explosion uh, that uh, inflates very quickly. In this case, uh, we have to make sure that the, the airbag inflates and stays inflated. So we have an inflator, we have a compressed gas, and we inflate the tubular structure, but the main volume of that airbag in the back is from the surrounding air. So it inflates and it stays inflated, and that is what gives us the very special uh, effect. So it can assist, as I said, all different kinds of passengers, and especially in combination with the belt bag, um, that's a very, very good combination. As you know, always wear your airbag. The combination is what makes you the safest. Well, as with M MB or Mercedes-Benz, we always uh, strive to offer the latest and greatest, uh, uh, the best support we can offer you in our new S-Class, um, in our convenience, but also in the safety. So we have added a lot in those uh, two fields. On the comfort side, of course, we have improved our already very good driver assistance systems. So if you're driving in Distronic, our active uh, a distance assist with the steering assist, um, it gets a lot more comprehensive. And on the safety side, we've added speed to most of the braking and uh, uh, collision avoidance maneuvers. And we have added some use cases, one of which I would like to point out, for example, the uh, turning maneuver function uh, is a feature that uh, can really make a difference. If you're standing at an intersection and you want to turn left or right, doesn't matter. And let's say a child on, an air, on, an, uh, on a bicycle comes while you start and you didn't see it. The car just stops right away when you start your car to turn and, and you can just save that child and you have a very safe situation where, whereas uh, if you wouldn't have the system, you would have probably hit that other road user. We already have a quite high resolution. We have 84 pixels today in our high-end uh, digital lights. Uh, but now we've added a few from 84 to 1.3 million. So that's quite a step. So actually it's a projector we have there. And in theory, we could project, and for show we do that, we could project a movie in black and white, actually in white and black, uh, onto, a, onto a screen and could watch that. Of course, that's not the use case in traffic and it's not allowed either. Um, but because we have that very high resolution, we can cut out other road users in the dark very well, not to blind them, uh, we already do it very well with the 84 um, pixels, but with the 1.3 million per light, uh, we can cut them out very exactly. So we have a very bright and brilliant headlight all around that other road user, by the way, properly lit uh, bicycle uh, drivers also uh, get cut out. Uh, we just need a, a good light source to cut out. And then we have headlight, high beam all around that other road user and not blinding anybody in a very, very high accuracy.